Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kevin. For those who don't know me, today we're going to see what products come in the Kat Von D mystery bag or the KBD mystery bag. So if you want to know what products come in my bag, just stay tuned and we're going to do a whole beat look for today's video. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the package that I got in the mail. This is the Kat Von D mystery bag. And we're going to open it and see what products come inside of it. So, let's get started. So, we got the safety sponge. We got the wrapping paper. They, they usually go for a black um, paper. Let me just show you guys the box. Vegan Beauty. Cute. So in the order that I made, the, all the products come here and we're going to go through them. I also added a foundation to my order. So here's the foundation that I got. So I ordered a foundation because I wanted to, I always wanted it. So I figure since I'm doing this video for Kat Von D, I figure I could just use the foundation also and show you guys how it works and how it applies. So I also got the foundation, but this did not come with the mystery bag. This one was just an added um, product that I made because because when I saw the advertisement for the mystery bag, I saw the products and I kind of could tell which products I was going to get like it was kind of almost obvious so I knew there wasn't going to be a foundation so I went ahead and got it just so I could make it for this video so I got a foundation I guess the obvious would be this powder um it's a powder foundation so here it is this is the packaging it's super cute one thing about Kat Von D is that I really like their packaging and oh it looks so pretty Okay, so this is the packaging of the powder foundation. It's like black and red, really slick. I love it. Very chic. I love it. And it comes with a little sponge. Let me move. It comes with this Pat Von D protector. And here's the foundation. Hopefully it does match my face, which it should. And if not, I'll just make it work. Here's the... It looks so beautiful from the inside. I think that whole red in the mirror just like makes it look so great. It looks really pretty. I really like my I really fell in love with this and let's see how it works so let's put the powder foundation away and now let's do this the 24 hour super stay uh, brow so so this is the long wear pomade I really love the color that I got I got a dark brown which is perfect because I really do like my eyebrows to be very intense I think the eyebrows really give your um your whole demeanor character and this is how the product looks this is such cute packaging I freaking love it. it's dark brown which I'm really glad I got this color I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it so this is the this is the brown so this is the brow pomade or oh, pomade love it so the next thing is this lashes which I remember when I saw the advertisement I could also tell that I was going to get lashes so um I don't really care for them <laughs> because lashes is not a product that I can use like 20 times in a row I can probably use it five times and then that'll be it so here it is and it also is lashes that a drag queen like it, I don't know it'll look really natural I guess and it's cute but i'll probably just take get like five uses out of them i don't think i can i'll be able to use it no longer than five times so this is kind of like whatever so the second product is this is the tattoo ink liner and this one i'm very excited for because usually when i make my wings they come out super ugly and hopefully with this it just helps it out so i'm very excited about this one actually i always wanted to buy this one and i never got the chance to because Kat Von D is kind of pricey and here's the so hopefully it helps me out to get a more really in love with this one well i don't know if i'm in love with it i'm pretty sure i'm going to be in love with that so let's put it away and the next two products are lip products so one is the lip liner which i also got like something a little dark brown which i love it's also called well 
the packaging here if you look at it it's kind of brown so it's this brown lip liner and i love this kind of lip liner so you just kind of roll and they come up and i really like this color so i'm really glad i got this color and we're gonna try it with our look today and before we move to the last part which is the palette um this is the last one it's a liquid lipstick i'm guessing it's a mate finish well it doesn't say but it's this cute little pink it's like a bubble pink so this is like a cute bubble pink i feel like with my lip liner and with this color combined it won't look as bubbly or as like pinkish but we'll try it and we'll see how it works so we're gonna try this in with our look today i kind of do like that so the last product that came in my mystery bag is this super cute palette it's supposed to be a vegan beauty palette well all the products are supposed to be vegan so let's open it the packaging is super cute and elegant the only problem is that if i want to keep it white it's going to be difficult because usually when i like like when you like put your makeup away like powder falls everywhere and it just gets stains over everywhere so i don't see how i'm gonna keep it clean it's also reusable let's move this out of the way because you can take this out once you're done and recycle it um and they also show you how to recycle it which is kind of cute and these are the colors okay so we got the foundation and we got the blush highlighter the contour palette and we're going to use all the products that came in my mystery box bag of Kat Von D. So if you guys want to see how my look turns out, just let's keep watching because we're about to start. Oh, and we also have to go from speaking in English and Spanish because <laughs> last time I lost the footage of the Spanish one. Okay, so we're about to start. Like I told you guys, this is my brother and he's going to, we'll say something. Tell them your name at least. My name is Carlos. <laughs> okay, so this is Carlos. He's yeah. a makeup artist and he also does hair. And he went to Camirello for <laughs> his school. And he's going to be doing my beat from beginning to end. And we're going to try him out. If he's not good, we're not going to hire him anymore. So yeah, let's get started. We're just going to use Kat Von D products for this video. Mostly. Whatever, I, Yeah, whatever we don't have, we're going to just... Well, if you want to tell them, you tell them. Tomorrow. I'm already right. nervous. Okay, now in Spanish. <laughs> Laura Mercier. Right. <laughs> so today we're going to be using the my Laura Mercier primer. And this one is mine. Oh, I'm doing it? Yeah. El face stop es mejor que... Okay, so apparently the phone stopped recording. So we started adding the foundation already. So we're using the we're using the Kat Von D foundation. I got this uh, foundation. This is an extra product that I order with the mystery box. I really like it. Do you want to say anything about the foundation? You were saying it has warm it colors. Stops exactly for uh, his uh, color skin. It match really good because it's a more warm warm pink uh, foundation that has a juvia's plate that is more um, gold tone so it makes uh, it doesn't even look almost the same and it's too dark sometimes so this is a perfect color it also has like a pink undertone which it makes it look more natural i just three pounds uh, three pumps so this foundation is also a full coverage foundation so he just ordered the black one of this product the black color and that's because he likes his eyes to be more um more black but i really do like the brown the dark brown either way because i'm using a blonde wig today so i do want it to be more light so it doesn't matter if you like don't do it perfectly because makeup is a process and you can always clean it up. Now I'm gonna do the other side because I want to make sure that because um, like everybody nobody's really symmetric so we're gonna I'm gonna make sure that uh, this one is a little higher so I'm gonna make sure in case this one comes too high I can always add more color here so that's why I don't do the powder right afterwards. I didn't dry a little. This brow cream is dark brown but it's kind of coming out looking like black. Huh. No, but it is a lot darker, which I guess that's the point because it is dark brown. But I'm really happy that I got this uh, this color. Even if I would have got black, I would have still been happy. 
Carlos. Yes, love them. And with eyebrows, you really have to take your time because eyebrows are super important. They really do give your face the finish. I feel like with the Kat Von D foundation, I could even get away with using it as a boy, huh? Five. How many uh, for me? <laughs> <laughs> give me one for boy. <laughs> Umaro. So one thing about eyebrows is that you guys really have to take your time. So this is just the pomade of the eyebrow. We still have to add the powder also. And then what I like to do after is like one with the foundation, I can actually make it like... You don't put the powder first? The loose powder? No. Like, because oh. I do the contour and then I do the... So you finish the whole eyebrow first. You don't put the powder everywhere? The outside, I want it to be more blended. Like, kind of like an ombre style. Oh, because I put it everywhere. I feel like the foundation is coming off right now. So we're going to do a little retouch with the foundation before we continue. So we're just going to retouch the parts that the foundation came off. Like, we're not going to, like, retouch the whole thing. Just make sure it's... So we're going to use the, found the Kat Von D foundation to clean out the eyebrow and we're going to use this Juvia's Place concealer to clean the bottom part. If you want to say it, then say it. Don't, Don't make me say it and then you're correcting me. Uh, I would use this one. That's same. <laughs> They're clean. He's yeah. making it up. So what are you going to do right now? Okay. Just clean out the eyebrows? Yep. So I'm going to use this too because these are the ones that he used But before. I did the contour before I even... I add just a little bit in my hand. A little thought because I don't want to be wasting a lot because a lot of people will put like a lot just for no reason and it's mine so then I'm if just it was it his we wouldn't care and you want to make and sure you don't move you want to make sure too that you clean every time that you use it you clean a little so it's not too messy and cleaning your eyebrows is very important it just gives it a little highlight um, I'm gonna put the cap <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like I'm bald headed. Not that there's any wrong with being bald headed. <laughs> I don't want to disrespect the bald headed community. <laughs> I'm just saying I look like a neck. Look, so now he's uh, further cleaning the bottom with this Juvia's Place concealer and this is as you guys can see this is going to leave it a lot more lighter and bring out my brow bone so when i started my drag journey my brother was the one who would do my he would do both our makeup he would start with mine and then he would finish his and he would do both our makeups before we would go out to the club or anywhere we were going in drag. At least for the first year of me doing drag. I really love this foundation. It's looking super natural. My skin has oh, never yeah. looked this natural, huh? Now we're gonna use before. Uh, okay, uh, there's two things that I, uh, I'm gonna be using today for uh, bronzing the face uh, with um, the cream and, and the stick. This is the lighter one, so I'm gonna start with this one because I like to do the cream first. I mean, the, uh, I like to use first um, the creamies and then I, I go, uh, I mean the liquid, then I go with the cream. But first, I start with just a little bit of the highlighting. And then I do highlighter again after I do the liquid um, bronzer and, and everything. So I do here. Kat Von D doesn't have cream contour. So that's the reason why I'm not using Kat Von D for contouring. Because oh. otherwise I would. The one I really, really want to try is the um, Huda uh, bronzer and, and, and concealer. That's so, mostly the bronzer. Oh. So right now we're using Huda, no, Juvia's place have we keep saying huda's place no, oh so we've been using yuvia's place concealer mm -hmm. the darker foundation uh i don't know if this is a concealer or if it's a foundation but we're using the darker one for the contour but we are going to use the kat von d contour powder for contouring um later on it's just kat von d does not have cream contours and for drag you just have to do the most so don't forget to contour your jaw so when it comes to creams you just want to add a little bit and just to the end so it's better to want to add more later on than to want to remove it so you just gotta add little by little and work with the product and if you just need to add more then you just do it oh my god it's looking beautiful and I'm not saying it just because it's my face. Fuck, look how beautiful it's looking. See, that's the thing. I still need to like get more products and like learn newer te techniques because my makeup yeah. never looks this good. And we're barely starting. So I'm gonna do the other side now. I'm gonna start a little there and then I'm gonna do this part already. Like I say, I don't mind the, the, if the hair come on and get some color because the wig is gonna be covering all of that. And when you do makeup on other people, it really does help when that other person is beautiful. It just makes your job a lot easier. Wow. <laughs> 
I look bomb. Like this makeup is coming out so cute. Y'all need to hire him as a makeup artist. Yeah. So we're gonna do the nose now. He said that he doesn't like to apply too much, but apparently underneath the lips he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love the lips. So here. I add a little bit here. It looks bomb. Okay. Obviously he doesn't have big lips. <laughs> I have uh -huh. juicy lips. So this might be the best makeup that I've showed you guys so far. But it's not because he's doing it. It's just things in life that happen. Oh, wow. <laughs> he's trying to show out for my channel. Trying to make me look bad. So because we're drag queens, that's why you need to do the most, right? You have to just add yeah. layer on top of layer on top of layer. Obviously with me, you don't have to. But because I want wow. to participate with all this other house, this is why nobody likes me. <laughs> wow. See, I add a lot more than you do. I add way more than you do. Maybe like three times the more. I know, it's looking so pretty. Okay, don't be mean either. I'm like no. giving you a compliment. It's looking super pretty. He didn't learn how to do makeup in Scammy Umbrella. He learned how to do it by watching. Do you want to tell them? YouTube, um, Laura Lee is my favorite one. Y, um, no, say it in English because right now we're speaking. My favorite is Laura Lee. No, English. Oh, English. My favorite one is Laura Lee, and then the second one will be, um, what's her name? Oh, she just got um, in some scandal thing. So she's Tati. Not, Tati. I like Tati's videos. She's, she's most I my like when one. Tati has uh, J Lo's makeup artist. Mm -hmm. This one is kind of light. So, so, watching makeup tutorials in YouTube is like a good idea because, like, you can not only just get inspiration, but you can, like, learn different techniques that other makeup artists do. Because, like he said, he does different techniques that than I do. I probably, like, should learn a little more. But, you know, makeup is, like, a process where, like, you just start learning the things that work for you and the things that do not work for you but this beat is coming out super cute well, this is exactly what scott barnes would do on j-lo now what i'm doing is like uh i did put from um, bronzer here but now i'm adding the white because i want to huh. make because he has a smaller face i wanted to make it a little longer so it looks Thank a little you. more feminine so this is gonna help it look more more uh, like feminine in some way so like he said, I have a small face. <laughs> it helps and it doesn't help sometimes. So, but there's no, that... it always helps. No, it helps with everything, but it doesn't help with like the eyes part because it, uh, it's better to go a little higher so it looks more feminine. I'm not saying this just so you guys can watch my videos over and over. That's not the point. I'm saying not only just me, you guys can like subscribe to other makeup artists. Like he has his own channel that he just started also. If you guys want to follow him, I'm going to add his channel to my channel community so you guys can find him there the basically i'm just saying watch different makeup artists learn different techniques just see what works for you this is not a powder brush but this is not clean so it's kind of hard to use this one because it's not really soft but we're gonna start yeah. complaining now is this clean yeah, this yeah. Is clean. actually i'm gonna use this one you but can... i use that for blush but, I, uh, I but to be fair he did start doing makeup a lot uh, sooner than me Ooh. you know what's crazy what was... i tried to not use this powder mm -hmm. because Usually I use too much, mm -hmm. so it comes out super cakey and super like, it changes the color of my face. And you just used it and it didn't change anything. <laughs> I'm like, palette for brown. So it's, it's, a, it's an eye, um... But I do bouncing before I do that. I mean, after I do... No, I do this first. Really? That's how I do it. Uh, so I'm gonna use the word of Juvia's by Juvia's Place. Uh, it's one of my favorite ones for that and, and for eyes too. This, this is technically a, a face. This is not for like contour thing. So um, this is more a blush or even a, just a, a loose powder thing. But we, uh, he uses for this, and we're gonna use it. It is kind of a little darker because he uses his other bronzer. Because thing. I used the Anastasia Beverly Hill bronzer, and that one is very intense. Yeah. So so normally the one, this one by himself, it comes really warm. And I need to get a new one. I saw that you have new ones. <laughs> the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, powder, the bronzer powder. That's my favorite. This Juvia's Place palette, this palette is made for the eye, but a lot of uh, makeup artists use it to contour or as a bronzer. And also, I've seen makeup artists who are of uh, black skin or black complexion skin, and they use this uh, palette to contour also so if you're of a darker skin this palette might also work for you to contour if you can't find something that works for you because you can use this shade for contouring just in the outside and then this shade to warm it up right 
Mm -hmm. cool. Cause I've seen it on YouTube. So if there's anybody out there who needs a tip like that, just know that you can get that palette and it will work out. Cause I've seen it work out. Like I've seen how other makeup artists use that and it does work for them. Juvia's Place is also a black owned business and they're um they're growing they're in their way to become a high how do you call it a high cosmetic brand high end so juvia's place is on their way to become a high-end makeup brand right now you guys could get the really good sales because when a company is on the verge of growing that's when they like start promoting their products with sales and everything and then that's when they like bump up the price so right now it's a good time to get your juvia's place oh, products Cat um, shade and light contour. So, say in English. so um, right now we're gonna use the Cat uh, shade and light contour. I really like the color, but like you can see, look only to this and look how much powder comes out. That's the only thing I dislike about this one, but it's a it's a good one. It's not that bad. I don't know if you saw my last video, but I used the Too Faced palette um, uh, that you gave me. It's extremely powdery. Mm -hmm. You know how ba how powdery it is? It went in my mouth and it tasted like chocolate. So it's extremely powdery. It goes in your mouth and then it gave me a headache. Mm -hmm. Like immediately. And you know how we suffer from migraines? Yeah, when I was using it, I was like, ooh, Carlos would have hated it. I really like how my makeup is coming out. Mm -hmm. My pictures are gonna come out super cute. Mm -hmm. What well, now I'm gonna do with this, the same one that I did the... Um... So we're done with this one? Yeah. So we're done with the uh, uh, contour pa palette. We're not going to use any of the above um, shade. What would you use this for? The so if you wanted to retouch the mm -hmm. highlight part, you could with the powder, but we're not gonna do that because, because we, we have, have the, you say it. The, um, the Catbun D Locket Powder Foundation. I'm gonna do this one to clean here and here and all of that. So he contour underneath my lip because this part mm -hmm. helps if you add a shade you. here if you add a shade to underneath your lip it makes your lip look like a duck like this so it kind of makes it more juicier so this shadow helps for that yeah, it's kinda hot so Ooh. okay i'm gonna uh... <laughs> let me see fun? We're gonna do it and we're gonna put actually a lot because I want to do like the highlight first. And say how you like it and everything. I'm gonna, uh, right now, gonna, all of those light uh, colors, I want to really make them a little more juicy. So we're gonna add sharp, this one. No? Well, sharp and everything. So I'm gonna be adding this one. I was gonna use this, this one. And it was really good for just to do the part there. But I'm not gonna use it for everything because <laughs> it's not working with me. I'm gonna do the dancing. So how are you liking this powder foundation? I Have like you used it? It's a little bit too light for us. I can, that I can tell. But mm -hmm. it's actually gonna work really good with this part right here. I Have you used it before? I just want to use it here again. Have you used it before? No, first time. It's really good. I like it. Like it's actually uh, giving some color back that uh, it went away. So actually I like that a lot. And I like it here. I just don't like it particular here. So I'm just doing this right now. Because uh, when I put the powder, because it's really pigmented, it kind of looks like a little line that is uh, for me. To me, it looks kind of funny. So I, with the same um, bronzing um, blush that I used before, I just like to do without adding nothing. I just like to kind of complete a little and then make sure if I need to add more or not. Jesse. Mm. <laughs> so right now he's going to use a Kat Von D blush. So this is, let me show them. So this is uh, a duo. It's a highlighter and it's also a blush. Oh, shit, it's a They don't like each other. Okay, so, so yeah, we have to. We have to use it. <laughs> okay, so I have this Kat Von D setting spray. And the reason why, so we are going to use it to set my makeup, right? right. So at the end, we're going to use it to set my makeup, but... This is fun because it's going to be me lo trague todo. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Okay, so we had to use this Auntie Voldemort uh, setting spray it because amazing. yeah, it smells really good. But if you don't like scented right. sprays, then it probably won't work out for you. But I actually enjoy it. I think it smells really great. But so we're using this Auntie Voldemort um, uh, setting spray because he likes to set the makeup before he does the um it makes it um the powders to kind of like blend nicely with the foundation and everything it kind of like molds everything really nice and it removes a lot of the cakiness if you do it twice instead of just once and because I we're think. shady ho 
suppose we could have used another company, but what better company to use than her enemy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And while all of that is kind of like setting and everything, I am gonna come and because I've been playing with the face and everything, uh, I a lot of the eyebrows color kind of went off, so I'm gonna re add that. But I'm gonna only gonna do it with the powder. I'm not gonna, gonna do it with the uh, with the other stuff. And I'll make. Sure sure to use the part that I haven't touched his face so that daddy doesn't want to make wait what are you gonna do? so he's adding um cream contour no he's adding concealer because he wants the shadows of the palette to really stick in oh yeah and, and he's going to use this Morphe and Jaclyn Hill uh brush um, Hill. just before we start um how do you like the palette I love it this one this three over here and this this one and this three this one and I think maybe even this three over here I was okay. saying earlier that is such an interesting palette because it's mostly shimmers and just a few mates, huh? I like them. Different. Not all. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um I don't know do immers do colors. Immersion. So this color over here, that the picture one, because I like it. And what do you start? That's like your base, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing that he noticed with this palette is that it's a little powdery. It is powdery, but it's not extremely powdery. But a uh, palette being powdery does not matter as long as the color does stay in the eye. It's just bad when it's powdery and you loosen your product and on top of that you have to add too much for it to work and this one it doesn't seem like it's the case or what do you think no, so, sure. I mean, really cute. so he's going to just do the bottom section usually i wait until the end to do it but i just told him to just do whatever he felt like doing just because this is like his look so whatever look he turned it turns out he's coming up with it i didn't tell him what to do with the palette or what colors to use so whatever colors he choose to use it, it's his own creative because okay. it's mostly shimmer and I don't want to just oh what do you think about that what do you think that I like it shimmer? but like um, I like to... it because I don't have a palette like that you tend to do a lot of like the more um kind of like no not that but just like neutral color I I'm use really... mostly mates I use yeah. one shimmer and that's that but you mostly uh, you mostly do like neutral so I don't want to focus only on this one so I want to really do something with this one too so I was thinking of blue and then this beautiful kind of darker blue to do it like to make it more oh and I was saying earlier how different. the blue uh, kind of looks like a shimmer it does actually yeah but it's not no so, it's not it like it they blue. advertise it as a me so i'm gonna be adding that blue one because i want to do something different but this one the blue one is the most hard look look i just did this and look how much it comes out oh yeah look so do it to really the camera do this and that's a lot of powder so but we gotta go with let's see super heal how's the pigmentation mm, i like it that it's not like too strong from the beginning because i can always add more and i do want to use it with the other one so the other one is going to add more color so i want it to be more like in the outer side i want it to be more like blended and i'm gonna go quite high because uh he does have smaller eyes and i want it to still show when the eyes is open i'm gonna go all the way here but i'm not gonna do it as round there talk about the blending huh? it blends really nice i like it because it's not like i said it's not really extremely powder I mean uh pigmented so it's doing its job but I do I will uh blend here in the uh like both of the outside with that color that I use uh, the neutral I like it when a print actually blends because you know it looks white I have seen people that I have been I see them outside a lot of even though I have seen a lot of the so it's like, important uh, to take your time right yeah I've seen a lot of girls drag queens and uh cross dressers that don't actually blend and their face instead of making them look feminine they look even more masculine because it's too square to this it's too sharp the lines mm -hmm. so you have to really take your time and blend because even with makeup you could get away with doing one look with one shadow as long as you blend it the right way right mm -hmm. although with when you're a drag queen you do want to get creative because this is all about showing your art but you want to make it look like nice do you no yeah but i'm saying yeah. you use more colors yeah. you don't use just one color and but you could get away with it just using one it's paris it's kind of a little at the bottom i am gonna be adding this one and make a bit and leave it I there have just place powder. actually this is perfect because it's not it's kind of light and i like that so we're gonna be adding this all here because i do see that is there's splitting he's just gonna use the three mains that he already used which is the pink one the brown one and the blue although the blue is kind of more in the shimmer side because it is kind of sparkly but not that much right no mm -hmm. so that's it for the mate now he's going to move on to the shimmer and he's going to use this kind of green um shimmer and he's gonna use his fingers to apply it at this 
at least let me add it and hopefully it's a nice color it looks really pretty actually really it's like a like a, I don't know, it's like, I will, this color will be mostly only for clubbing uh, or like a big smoky uh, kind of style or, uh, but not for the morning. I will not think this will work like for people that want to do it like in the mornings because I think it's like really intense. He's basically doing a very smoky look for today. So one thing that I like that he's making the uh, smoky look is the fact that I got the lashes in the mystery bag and the lashes are very small and they're also not, um like how would you say it no, they're, they're not, not eyelashes that are too thick and that are too big because as drag queens you need like the bigger eyelashes just bigger everything because you want to feminize your face as much as possible so the fact that he's doing something smoky just it's gonna work out for the lashes so my memory got full and we just finished using the Ultra Ink Liner and we used it in my eyes and he also added uh, eyeliner yeah. underneath my eye. Next eyeliner, the, the jumbo one. He also added highlighter already, but uh, yeah. everything we had to do it off of camera because we didn't notice I, that the... I added the bronzer that I used, I added under it. Underneath my eye. And yeah. the reason why we didn't record that is because uh, the camera shut down because the, my memory was full and I didn't notice. So yeah, so we're just going to continue from here. And we used the NYX by Petra uh, highlighter. I used the side... Well, I, I guess it did not really have a name, but uh, this one, the um, pink girl side. What did you think about the eyeliner? Because they didn't get too Oh, hard. I like the, the formula, I like the color, but I dislike the shape of the pencil. I think it's way too thick from this side, so I would like it to be thinner. So, did you use the... Um... No, I used uh, the other one. Okay, so now he already put the glue in the lashes and he's kiss. letting it dry. Kiss one the and laughing. the eyelashes came with their own glue, but we didn't use it because um, like he doesn't like it. So we used the kiss one. I'm really liking how the lashes are coming out. Yeah, they're too small, huh? The eyelashes are way too small for me as a man and as a drag queen. But because of purposes of for this video, I just don't mind using them, and I actually do like them. I will wear them only when I'm uh, has a boy. That's a perfect for something simple and creative. Or if you're just a regular female, like this would be perfect eyelashes for you. So but when simple. you're just a drag queen, it just doesn't work out for you because as men, we just want everything to be a lot bigger. These are natural and it's dark beautiful. I just don't like uh, particular. They kind of disappear. I don't like that in the inner. It's kind of thin. I would like it to be thinner and then it go fuller from the outside. But it's cute. Yeah, it's cute. It just really doesn't work out for people who, like I said, weird drag queens or cross dressers so it just doesn't really work out for us because as men we need it to be bigger now i'm gonna use the cap and the lip liner on the shade out cream out this one and we're gonna use this uh, lip, uh shade instead of the one that came in the box because this that, that one is too pink and it will not really go with the lip so he's going to use this cat bond d liquid lipstick because this one is a uh, darker pink and this one is too bright for the kind of look that he's going for. I like it a lot. It's really so it, it like it glides there really easily. One of the things I'm scared of is that you guys might notice how makeup is actually supposed to be applied. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, you guys just got to remember that we all have different techniques and some of us are a little rougher than others. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? So, because I don't have a, uh, well... I don't have a little bit more. I like the other mats, but I don't have a little bit more. So, because I'm really liking the matte look in my lip and because I don't have a Kat Von D gloss and I actually don't know if Kat Von D has glosses so I think I'm just gonna leave for this look a matte look especially because the way he blended it is coming out super cute but you would leave it like that right? yeah it's really it's looking really beautiful mm -hmm. especially with the smoky look it's just perfect let's add in a, again a little bit of the highlighter because after um, moving a lot of the stuff, uh, I feel like the color kind of went away, so I'm add, re adding it. And before I do this part, um, so the highlighter a lot when I want it more uh, to be more intense, I kind of get the whole powder in it and I don't shake it. Instead of that, I just add the, this, the spray, and I feel like it gets a little more intense kind of look, and that's what I kind of want. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! This is so pretty. Oh, I like it. Okay. 
So yeah. this um, this spray he's using is the Kat Von D uh, setting spray. And after I do add it, I do like to even add still like a little. Uh, usually uh, a lot of people like to just spray directly and just do it like this instead of like gliding and just pressing little by little until it goes all the way down and you can press no more like this. Instead of going like this. So the correct way to do it is to spray it, gliding it across the face. Yeah. Otherwise, it leaves um like it's like little drops, and sometimes it does. It kind of leaves like drops of water if you just apply it directly. And he found out that the best way to apply it is to glide it across the face. <laughs> so this is the final look of the makeup. Thank you for doing my makeup today. Mm -hmm. And I really love how it came out. This, we used every single product. Some of it didn't come out in the video because the video shut down and we didn't notice. But right now I'm going to apply my wig and we're going to come out with our final look. Okay, so to finish the video, this is the final look. This is how the makeup came out. I really love everything about this mystery bag. I really like the liner. I'm really sorry that you guys didn't get to see that part, but I really didn't notice when the camera shut down. But I really like how the liner came out. Actually, let's bring out all the products once again just to finish this look. And right now, I'm just gonna show you guys how the seven products in the mystery bag, um, we're just gonna talk about them a little bit. So let's start with the eyelashes since I'm wearing them. So the eyelashes are cute. They're too small for a drag queen, so me that I'm a drag queen it just doesn't work out that much because I need bigger lashes but for a natural look and just for right now it really does work out another thing that I just don't like is the fact that this mystery bag brought eyelashes just because eyelashes is not a product that you can use 20 times it's just it's more of a product that you can use five times and then you have to throw them away just because they get nasty and they get dirty and like that part I was just kind of like why did they send eyelashes that makes no sense I mean I get that they're trying to promote their products which is good i really did like them and if they were to have bigger ones i probably were I, I probably would get them but what it is this eyelashes i probably wouldn't buy them myself just because i'm a drag queen and as a boy you just have need bigger ones but for a regular female i feel like this type of eyelashes would look great on you guys and they do look natural so that's what i think about the eyelashes now let's talk about the um eyebrow uh, cream i really did like it i really love how my eyebrows came out and this was a huge win for me because i always wanted to get it so this i'm very happy about um the powder foundation was also another of my favorites I think the color that I got is a little too light for me but it's perfect and it's beautiful and I'll make it work and it's not a loss I actually really do love it it's just a tiny bit too light for me but that's okay um so I did not use the liquid lipstick and the only reason why I did not use it is because I already own a Kat Von D liquid lipstick and the one that I own was um also a pink but it was a lot darker than this one this one is just too bright for me and well no it's not that it's too bright for me because i actually love it the thing is that the look that my brother made this color just wouldn't have gone it wouldn't have looked cute with this look because it just needed a more dark tone which the one that i used really did look cute and the color that i used i used it well this is the color that we used for my lip look today and we used it with this lip liner that came in the mystery bag and i actually did like it this is probably one of my favorite lip liners it looked beautiful i'm sure you guys are gonna like it also so let's just finished with the last two. So the uh, liner, I really did love it. My brother didn't like it as much just because of the application, but I really do like how fast it dry and I really did like how it looks. So I, what it is me, I really did love it. And it's probably what I'm going to be using for my looks from now on. I always wanted to get it and now I'm really happy that I have it. So we have the liner and lastly the palette so this is the palette one last look for you guys so i really did love the palette he used only three of the shades he used this three down here the pink brown and blue and he also used this for the shimmer and my look came out so super cute i really love it i'm really looking forward to using this palette more often and it's a very creative palette i really love that it's mostly shimmers and a few mates 
not necessarily that I want all my palettes to be mostly shimmers and but because this is such a unique palette I really did love it so I'm really happy with everything that I got from my mystery box my mystery bag even the eyelashes because even though they just don't work out for a drag queen uh, I really do love how they look and even though they kind of disappear I still like them and I they're still doing their little thing so that's all for the video I hope you guys like this mystery bag and I hope you guys like this makeup tutorial Tutorial, and I was really happy to have my brother do my makeup because he really did, did do a really good beat. This is probably like the best makeup look I've had in my channel. I mean, it was not made by me, so that's embarrassing. But I mean, what can we do? Like, he's really talented and I really love how my whole look came out and I hope you guys liked it too. So if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe and comment underneath anything that you would like to tell us or any comment you would have about this video. Thank you so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful night and thank you. Bye!